everybody. It's Allie from Padfoot Palms. So we've got our peppy area all cleaned up. And we've got puppies on the heating pad over here. So um, they are starting to move around quite a bit. And so what we've done is we've put the uh, extra padding underneath them. So it creates, you can kind of see up over in this area, the big circle pad. It creates some bumps for them to get over. It also increases the traction that they can get, which is good for their hips and their other joints, um, but mainly their hips. So as they start walking around, they'll be able to um, get a good grip. So we've got Twix's babies over here, looking fat and fine. Look how gorgeous he is. I mean, just look at that color. Absolutely stunning. And there's River in the corner. Nobody puts River in the corner. And then over here, so you can kind of see that little circular pad in there. And then we've also got Fatty Patties over here. And they're doing great. Let me get you some additional light here so you can see. And as you can see, Kiko is really becoming this really rich lavender. I know it comes across on the screen as like a light brown, but... Um, when she gets older, you'll be able to see her in the sunlight, and it's definitely a very rich lavender. And then everybody else is looking fantastic. They're doing really well in their ENS, um, their early neurological stimulation. Everybody is progressing very nicely. Um, some puppies a lot faster than others you know, which is true of any group. So they're doing really well. And Rocky always keeps them immaculately clean. So we're very happy about that. Okay, so now that we got everything cleaned up, we're going to bring mamas back in and let them come and hang out with their babies. Okay, so Twix is our resident digger. She likes to dig out in the yard. She likes to dig in her bed for about 15, 20 minutes before she goes to bed. And one of the challenges that we've had with her is trying to hold down all of this material, right, that we use for traction for the puppies so that she doesn't pull it up and get puppies caught up in it, right, or accidentally bury them. So one of the things that Suze did is she started researching some different cameras and we were really concerned because we weren't looking to purchase anything crazy, right? Like some people have these ring cameras that are just so expensive and we really weren't looking to do that, but we were looking for something that you can download an app, you can view it, it's got night vision. And so that's why you can zoom. We ended up with this one, yes. Zoom, you can zoom. It's got a nice uh, clear picture and um, you can talk and listen too. Yeah, so if Twix is down here digging, it's also motion activated. So if she starts digging in the middle of the night, it'll send me a notification. As you can see, it's plugged in over there. And you can use the different settings to move the camera all around so that you can see anywhere here in the box and actually kind of slightly over this way but because we have the barriers in between um, we've decided that we're going to get a second camera to put over uh, the second whelping box there just so we can have a clear view of all of the puppies at any given time this will also be helpful when the puppies are old enough that instead of having two separate whelping boxes, we'll just have one big, huge, long box. We'll have a potty area at one area, 
play area at the other area, you know, food, water, all of that. So it's gonna be very helpful to have two cameras once we get to that point, because we'll be able to see, okay, potty area needs to be cleaned. You know, let's make sure that we get it cleaned. So keeping your puppies clean is very, very important. Um, it can limit and reduce the amount of problems that you have with a litter, um, including some of the, you know, diseases that they can get like Giardia, Coccidia, things like that. Um, you know, a lot of that comes from poop, unfortunately. So um, the cleaner you can keep it, the more often you can clean it, um, the better off you'll be. So yeah, so we're pretty excited about our new camera and I'll put some footage up so that you can see what it looks like. And it's very uh, affordable too, so don't. Yes. I was very surprised how affordable. Yeah, so how much was the camera? It was under $30. Yeah, which is fantastic. If you look at a lot of these cameras, you know, the, the lower in cost you go, the less features you get. So even $30 for this off of Amazon right. is fantastic.